important he is to this family and the kingdom at large. Please, I beg of you, do everything within your powers to see that he is fine again. Your Majesty, I give you my word. That's all right. Thank you very much. I beg to take my leave. Any news on the prince's health? No news yet. Dr. Phyllis is still attending to him in the room. What, what, what kind of temptation is this? Mm. Eh? Why would the devil choose to, 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 to spoil things today? Today of all days, why would the devil come to scatter the enjoyment we are supposed to be having? Why? Look at today that I said to myself that Omenka, you are going to marry, you are going to eat and eat and drink to stupor. The devil decided to come and scatter the enjoyment we are supposed to be having today. Just look at it. Look at it. Eh? Omenka, can you hear yourself? Huh? Can you just hear yourself? I don't understand. What are you saying? Are we not supposed to be enjoying today? Are we not? Do you think it's easy to win that kind of award that the prince won? Do you think it's easy to be the first African man to win that very prestigious award that the prince won? Do you think it's easy? Does it not come for celebration? What are you saying? And the devil and, uh, and his gang came to spoil the whole thing. Look at you, you know you're very stupid. Huh? You know you're very stupid. I mean, you should be thinking about the, the prince's health and not this nonsense you're spilling. You, see you, I'm very disappointed in you. Do you know you're correct? Very, very correct. Ah! Omenka, you are stupid. Very stupid. Very, very, stupid. very stupid. Don't rub it in. Take it easy. Easy. I, 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 I know I must have, you know, but don't, don't, don't go that way. I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. But what do we do to save the princess life right now? <laughs> Is the princess life in danger already? Omega. What, what? What am I even saying? What? Omega, watch your tongue before you put yourself in trouble. Hi. What? We were supposed to enjoy now. Chenna, have you told your father the outcome of the meeting between you and Mr. Madi? Oh, not, not really. I felt he will not be in the right frame of mind to discuss such, um, considering what happened to my brother. Oh, Chenna, will you shut up? How many times will I tell you to stop calling that God-forsaken boy your brother? How can you call someone that treats you the way he does your brother? And how can you call someone that hides everything from you? Your brother! For goodness sake! How can you call someone that team forces with his mother to take away what rightfully belongs to you? Your brother! How is he your brother? For, for, for God's sake! Calm. Just, just calm, mom. Just, just tell me what you want me to do. That's a good question. What I want you to do right now is to go straight to your father, tell him that you have picked a date for the marriage right with Sonia. That's all I want you to do for me. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. You understand, right? Yeah, sure, I do. What's going on, mother? What is happening? I can't feel my legs. What, what did the doctor say is wrong with me? He didn't really say anything. All I heard him say 
was that you need rest. I need rest? What does that even mean? What has rest got to do with my situation? Son, I can tell. But that was what he said. But he assured us that you'll be fine. But I'm not fine, mother. I'm, I can't move my legs. I'm not fine. I can't move. I can't take it easy, but I can't not move. I'm not fine. Greetings, my What are you doing here? I brought you your food. On whose instruction? I asked her to bring it. I'm not hungry, mother. My goodness. Son, you need to eat something so that you can take your drugs. What drugs? Mother, you just told me right now that I need rest. Why do I need to take medicine? What, what is going on? What are you not telling me, mommy? What are you not saying to me? So. Get out! Please take it easy on yourself. You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. You're lying to me. Can I lie to my son? Son, I'm not lying to you. Please. Do you think I'm happy? Do you think I am happy with your condition? I'm dying. Can't you sense it that I'm dying? It's okay. Why can't I move? You will move. Definitely you will move. Uh, how could you go to Amadi? to seek for his daughter's hand in marriage without getting my consent. Oh. Father, do I need to take permission from you before making my intention known to the family of the girl I want to make my bride? Of course you should. I am your father. When such decision is to be taken, I must first know. Oh. Uh, I am sorry I did not inform you. I promise you, it won't happen again. Better for you. Uh, Father, I want the marriage right to begin as soon as possible. Or maybe next week. Seriously? Like you want to get married before your older brother? And you are not aware we have tradition in this kingdom? Uh, Father, I am aware we have tradition here that my older brother is supposed to get married before me. But I have waited long enough and I can keep waiting. Uh, Father, I am ready to do that which he has refused to do. And that includes becoming the next king in waiting. I see. Ezudo. Oh, you mean oh, the meeting did not hold again? Oh, yeah, what happened? Oh, the council chamber is uh, going uh, renovation. Uh, okay, okay, maybe possibly by next week. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Ezudo. Please, let me, uh, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. What's going on here? Can someone talk to me? What's going on? <laughs> the doctor said, my son cannot walk with his legs anymore. What nonsense are you talking about? Now what happened? My son is crippled. 
Son, uh, I know the doctor did not say what your mom just told me. Father, I wish that I can wake up from this nightmare that life has brought upon me, but my reality is that it's it is impossible, Father. The doctor told us that I will not be able to use my legs anymore. No, this is not happening. I, 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 I can't believe it. Amanda? Your Majesty. Talk to me. Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Your Majesty. Neither the queen nor the prince lied to you. Yes, the doctor confirmed that the prince will no longer walk again. Where are you sneaking to? But father, I'm not sneaking out. You are not sneaking out? Why make use of the back door? <sighs> father, I'm going to the palace. Mm. To do what? Uh, well, I heard that Prince Desmond is back and that he's not feeling too well. So I just want to go and check on him and know how he's faring. Hey, uh, what a good-hearted girl. Where your mother gave birth to you, People came congratulating us that we have given birth to a, to, to, to a human being, not that we gave birth to, to a fool. Are you aware you are very stupid? I can't talk. talk. Was it not because of the same place Desmond that Stella attacked you with some hookups? Now you want to go and see the same person over whom you almost lost your life. Father, why are you sounding like this? The prince is not even in support of what that girl did. Neither am I asking for your opinion whether he was in support or not. I, I don't know you to behave like this. Please just allow me to go and see Prince Desmond. He's not feeling well. Uh, now, let me tell you. The earlier you understand it that you cannot leave this house to the palace to see Prince Desmond, the better for you. Now, get inside the house. Come on, inside the house. <laughs> What rubbish? No, I want to know. What rubbish? Why would she accuse my mother for being responsible for her son's misfortune? Now tell me, what would my mother gain from doing such? The throne. Your mother wants you to become the next king in waiting, and she can do anything to achieve that. Honestly, I have nothing to do with what happened to your son. Maybe you two should search yourselves, man. You might have committed sacrilege against the girls that made them get so angry to visit your son this way. Not me. You are the one the gods will visit with anger very soon. Uh, but you if you don't confess to what you did to my son, what? Well, enough! Uh, Frank, did you tell me what you went to do at the year show on that? Why would I have to tell you what I went to do there when that has nothing to do with you? Okay. In case you all want to know, I went there to pray for the safety of my lovely son. Liar! Your Majesty, she's lying. I strongly believe that the sacrifice you went there to perform that day is responsible for what happened to my son. 
You are the one who is lying. I went there to pray for my son. I would rather have you tell me the truth than to lie to me. I have told you my mind. I went there to pray for my son. I don't know what else you want me to say. What did I do to you? Tell me. What is the one thing I have ever done to you? And maybe you put me in this condition. I'm asking you, what did I do to you? Answer him. Don't you dare point fingers at me. Look at your mother while saying that. Don't look at me. I am his mother, not yours. They haven't seen anything yet. By the time I am done with my plans, Dorothy will regret ever crossing paths with me in this life. Mom, are you by this statement confirming to me that you have a hand in what happened to my brother? Will you shut up? Are you stupid? How dare you ask me such a stupid question? Instead of you to join forces with me to achieve this end, you are here saying nonsense. How dare you say such a stupid thing to me? And what makes you think that you are not a suspect in this very case? Oh no, come on, mommy, come out of that. You know I am not capable of doing such. Oh. Knowing as much as I want to be crowned the next king in waiting, you know I cannot soil my hands with blood. I cannot go to that extent of harming my own blood. Oh, really? Have you heard the saying that states that there is no brother in the jungle? Uchena, have you heard that? People can go to any length to achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve in this life. I said to any length, I didn't say some length, any length to achieve it. So have that in mind. And as we are right now, you are not even my friend. So you better join forces with me to achieve this. This is a jungle. My prince, you have not eaten since today. And it's not best for you in this condition. In this condition? My prince. You mock me because of my condition. I leave. I already know that I am a cream poor and a hopeless prince who cannot help himself. Do not mock me any further. Go. May the gods forbid that I mock the next king of this great kingdom. I cannot mock you, my prince. How much were you paid to develop the confidence that you have to walk into this room? to mock me like this. I'm in pain, yet you rub it in. How much were you paid? Do you know that I can have you arrested and seriously dealt with for this singular act? How much were you paid? My prince, please. Forgive me if I've spoken in a manner that is not good. And I can never collect anything as a reward to mock you, my prince. I'm just concerned that you have not eaten since today. I don't need your food. Go away. My prince, please. You need to eat, please. It's important that you... No! Else I'll do something nasty to you. What is going on here? Queen Mother, the prince has not eaten his food since today. I've been trying to get him to go and eat, but he has refused to do so. Mother, tell that maid to leave. Tell her to leave at once, for she has mocked me enough. Else I will do something to her. I will make every ear that hears of it tingle. Tell her to leave. Now! Son. 
starving yourself will never help in this matter. Rather, it will complicate it the more. It will worsen it. Please, you need to eat something, no matter how small it is. Man shall not leave my bread alone, mother. Of what use will this food be to me right now if it cannot help me? Tell her to get out. Please, you need to eat. I'm begging you. Amanda, with what you just narrated now, it's obvious that the prince is going through serious emotional problem. My darling, it's more than emotional problem. I just fear he might do something to himself. I'm calling. The prince I just left right now. <laughs> I fear he might commit suicide though. It's why I do. God forbid. Why would you open your mouth to say such? Listen, just pray that the prince does not hear this from your mouth. He might hear Gabo. Why would you say anything like because that? Because you do not understand what is going on right now. Listen. I think we, might, we should pray for him more. We need to pray for Prince Desmond. Come. Do you girls think that Queen Franca might have a hand in what is happening to the prince? Listen. I really do not like that woman. I don't like Queen Franca at all. I mean, we all know she doesn't like uh, Prince uh, Desmond and his mother, Dorothy. So it's obvious. See, I think the king should force the truth out of her. Yes. What if Queen Franca is not responsible for what Prince Desmond is passing through right now? And what if Prince Uchen is actually the one responsible for Prince Desmond's predicament? Hey. You don't see. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. How may I be of help to you? Omenka, what is wrong with you? How can you look me very in the face and tell me how may you be of help to me? Huh? Listen to me. Omenka Honanya remains the chief security officer of this royal palace. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. Now, I want you to tell me in clear terms what brought you to the palace. What do you want? Omenka, please, I do not want you to start embarrassing me today. Please, open up the gate so I can drive in and see Prince Desmond. How can you say that you want to see Prince Desmond when your name is not on the list of people Prince Desmond wants to see today? Besides, there is a standing order that forbids you from entering the royal palace. Listen to me. I will advise you to enter this your jalopy and go home. Better still, call Prince Desmond on the phone and tell him to order me, Omen Kahonanya 1, to open this royal gate for you to cross. Else, it will never happen that you will pass through this place. Omenka, Omenka, what is wrong with you? Why are you always being so difficult? You know what? Just hold on. Give me one minute. Hold on. Okay. I am here. What? Omenka, please, take this. Take it, please, and open up the gate for me. I really don't have time for all this. I want to see Prince Desmond. Young lady, so you want me to disobey a royal order because of this rubbish change, this nonsense change that you brought? <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. Omenka Honanya 
the chief security officer of this royal palace, the Mars Yezio Kobon, the one of this great kingdom, will never disobey any royal order for anything in the world. Let me put it to you that this money will be kept somewhere and it will serve as an evidence to show that you, Vera, tried to bribe me, Obenka Honanya, to disobey a royal order. Let it be registered in your mind that this money is hereby tagged Exhibit A. Thank you. Omenka! Omenka, stop doing this. Omenka, don't do this to me. Omenka! I am not doing anything. Omenka, please now! I am not doing anything to you. Uh, I just want you to know the truth. Why are you bringing it up again and thereby making us look so stupid before uh, you as our king? Oh, no, oh, no. Honestly, I don't like the way you are sounding. Uh -uh. Why not allow the council to exhaust this issue? It's a very critical issue. Allow us to deliberate on it very critically. Uh, Your Majesty, with due respect to you and the throne, I, I, I think this council can no longer go back to our vomit. This decision has already been taken that the date of our secret festival cannot be changed. This month, what do you want? I grew up to love and respect you so much. Not just as a stepmother, but as my mother. I have loved you. So much. Like one who brought me into this world. But it breaks my heart to find out that the woman who I have loved like my own mother does not even like me. You have shown me in many ways that you hate me with passion. So you came here to disturb my peaceful relaxation with nothing. I have come to find out what exactly you have done to stir up this kind of hate. And I'm willing to ask for your forgiveness. I can't remember telling anyone that you wronged me in any way, did I? So why then am I in this condition? Why can I not walk with my legs like my mates? I call you mother. And I ask you, mother, does it make you happy to watch me live in pain like this? In this condition? What is that are you saying? What I am saying is that if I have wronged you, mother, please, Forgive me. I want to walk again with my two legs. I am saying that you should have a heart for your mother. And break the spell so that I can walk again. I call you mother. Careful. Uh, 
now that we have all agreed on moving forward, I think we should send words to the chief priest of Ogogo to prepare the rituals that leads to the commencement events of the festival proper. You have a very good point there, Chio Goji. And we should also compile some names that will form the committee for this year's festival. And you have all spoken well. Um, Igwe, I think it is time for you to deliberate more on the issue of um, forming the committee. Yes. You have all spoken well, like the noblemen of the council that you are. Uh, but I haven't had any of you mention the condition of my first son, Prince Desmond. Uh, Your Majesty, with all due respect, that Prince Desmond refused to marry up to now is not an issue that, that should bother the men in council. Exactly. No. It is a sole problem of the royal family. After all, we all know what will happen if this Uruku festival comes and goes without our crowning Prince Desmond King in waiting. You know what will happen. It's not our problem. I, I wonder why all of you pretended to know that it is not the Prince Marital Statue is the problem. The bigger problem we have here is my son Prince Desmond is crippled. What? Your Majesty, how, when, when, how, how did that happen? Oh, well, it happened upon his arrival from overseas. Hi. That it's is it's a, a mystery. That is so mysterious indeed. So what do we do now? Huh? Greetings to you, my father. And great elders of this land. This council should not bother themselves about the health condition of the prince. For I, Prince Uchenna, I am ready to do that which he cannot do. I am ready to be crowned the next king in waiting. said that to them? Oh, of course, I, I did. <laughs> ah. And what did they say? Oh, they were all shocked. Uh, they couldn't say anything to me. <laughs> wait, 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 let me ask you. Was it from your heart? I mean, deep down your heart. Did you say that to them? Oh, Sonia. The old Chenna you used to know is not the old Chenna of today. I am prepared, fully prepared, to be crowned the next king in waiting. Very good. <laughs> now you are talking like a man. Not those days you used to sound like a woman. Oh. <laughs> you see, there is time for everything. This is time to be brave. And listen, <laughs> my lovely woman. I want you to prepare yourself. For you shall become the next queen of this great kingdom. And I can't wait. Uh, mm. But promise me you won't take a second wife like your father did. Mm -mm, promise me. I promise you I won't do that. <laughs> All right? Come here. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Yes, we come from different wombs, but we share the same blood because we come from the same man. And for that reason, I have treated you like my brother because indeed. You are my brother. 
But I ask you, my brother, why the sudden change? Change is what is constant in life. If I may ask, what particular change are you talking about? It is often said that brothers would rise against brothers, but I never thought that it would happen in my family. I never thought that it would happen to me. Which is now. Why are you trying very hard to take hold of that which belongs to your big brother? You are a prince. I am a prince. And both of us are sons of the king. Both of us are qualified to be crowned the king in waiting. So I don't like how you're sounding as if I am trying to collect that which I am not qualified for. Come on, bro. The crown is not meant for you alone. This is not my brother talking. Oh, come on, Desmond. This is me, your brother. Oh, you see, the Uchenna you used to know is not the Uchenna of today. And the Uchenna of today is the Uchenna that is capable of doing that which you, Desmond, cannot do. Desmond, please allow me. Allow me to take my crown in peace. Except you want something worse than what you're going through to come close to you again. Uchenna, do you have a hand in what's happening to me? Prince, is there anything you want me to do for you? I'm fine. All right. Good night. Amanda. Yes, my prince. family seriously plot to harm their own. Um, my prince, um, there's nothing impossible in life when it has to do with humans. Do you think that my step mother and brother are capable of harming me? My prince, I think this question is too big for an ordinary maid like me to answer. Sorry, my prince. Let me help you. Don't, I'm fine.
You're just a maid. But not an infidel. The fact that you work here in the palace as a maid does not make you less human, Amanda. I've asked you this question because I see you as intelligent enough to give good answers to our questions. So I demand that you speak. Well, my parents, we all know that Queen Franca doesn't like you and your mother. And we may not be surprised if she does anything to hurt you or the Queen Mother in any way. But my worry right now is Prince Uchenna's twist, sudden twist of character. Prince. My brother. My beloved brother. I have been trying very hard to put my finger on why he has changed from the man he used to be to whom he has become. But the harder I try, the more confused I become. The hearts of men are filled with so many things, my prince. And evil is one of them. for me, Father. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, Amanda, please leave us. We'll call you when your attention is needed. As it pleases, Your Highness. Uh, son, your mother told me something a while ago, and I decided to call you and your stepmother. If your stepbrother was to be here, uh, his attention would be needed equally. Father, can you spare us this moment of suspense and get straight to the reason we're here? To the point. Uh, Dorothy, <clears throat> repeat what you told me. Honestly, I do not know the reason for this meeting. All I know is Franka here and a useless son Uchenna must swear before Ogugu that they do not have hands in what happened to my son. What you said is absolute rubbish. Oh, will you shut up? Uh, mm. uh, son, you heard what your mother said. What do you have to say? Father, his son loves his mother. And the mother in turn loves her son with all of her life and would do everything to protect his life. If my mother has decided that he swear by Ugugu to prove their innocence, so be it. What else do you expect to hear from a crippled man? <clears throat> Franca, you are so useless. 
I thank the gods because they served you. This useless son. Why are you fighting mm. someone who's not fighting you? Who's not fighting you? Why are you pushing someone who's not pushing back? Oy. So why are you kicking someone who's not kicking back? Oh no. You are the Prime Minister of this Kingdom. The next after my father, the King. By virtue of that, you are granted when it has to do with the culture and tradition of our people. That's right. Good. There is something very important I want to find out from you, no. And please, I want you to tell me the truth. Everyone in this kingdom knows that I am known for saying and standing by the truth at all times. So, tell me, what do you seek to know? Oh no. The reaction on you people's face, the very day I said that I want to be crowned the king in waiting, didn't really go down well with me. So I want to know, oh no. Does the tradition and culture of our people forbid me from becoming the king in waiting? Hmm. The truth of the matter is that the position of the next king in waiting belongs to your brother, Prince Desmond. It can only be given to you if uh, but eventually, he is nowhere to be found. Or oh, that he decides to willingly give it uh, over to you. These are two ways to this. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> oh no. I heard from a reliable source that no disabled person can be crowned a king in waiting let alone becoming the king of this great kingdom. Prince, whoever gave you that information is 100% correct. But that person should have given you the vital part of the information. Okay. You can only be given the next king in waiting if your older brother, Prince Desmond, gives you his consent and blessing. In this context, that is only when your dream will be golden. Greetings, my king, and the entire royal family. Greetings, the great chief priest of our kingdom. I do not need to ask you why you are here, for I already know the reason. The die is cast. The drums of Oruruku festival. And the crowning of the next king in waiting is about to roll. The royal family and the entire kingdom are expected to prepare very well for this sacred event. As a more, the entire royal family is ready and well prepared to do that which is expected of her. So I, Igwe Chinedu Alaribe, Eji Umweze, I order you to 
fired a gunshot for the commencement of this sacred festival to begin. <laughs> Praise Desmond. Please step forward. This is the sacred part of Ogugu. Your father will tell you what next to do. I shall take my leave. You mean the chief priest gave the ancient heart to that cripple? Mother, you know I cannot lie to you. You need death to have been there to witness it yourself. Then this is serious. It means that something is going on that I am not aware of. How do you mean, mother? For the chief priest to hand that ancient pot to that Umboro is a serious matter. It means that something serious is going on. Mother, the big question here is, what do we do? Because we cannot fold our arms and what, what we have labored for for so long slip off our hands. Mm -mm. We are not going to watch that happen. And it will not slip off our hands. But we have a serious problem here. Varot has said that they have decided that we, you and I, are going to swear to prove that we have no hand in what is happening to that app. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that is not possible. Uh, Mother, I cannot do that. Chief Priest, after handing over the ancient port of Ogu, to me, so that you will be the next person to tell me what to do from here on. I heard him loud and clear. I have come to you, Father, so that you can tell me that which I need to do. Uh, well, son, can, can we change this conversation, please? At least for now. Dad, I hear you, but I'm sorry this cannot wait. For I have a lot going on in my life right now, which you're also aware of. If I let this wait, then I'll be adding it to the burden that I already carry on. Father, please, I don't want to lose my mind. Talk to me. Oh, well, uh, the chief priest said that you will lead the procession to the sacred shrine of Ubu with the ancient pot. And, uh, that will be on the day the chief priest will perform the cleansing ritual. That you will not know any woman from today till the day you will be crowned king in waiting. And that is one month from now. Interesting. Uh, well, there is something that has been giving me sleepless nights. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Oh, what is that, Father? What is the problem? Uh, uh, well, I do not know how to say that. Uh, I've been begging on who to pass the information to you, but he insisted I should be the one to tell you that. 
Dad, you can't talk to me. Please. Son, it's, it's, it's so difficult for me to say that. Dad, I know a man. A strong man. I call him Brave Heart. For he always speaks his mind no matter the outcome. Not for once is he ever afraid to speak his truth. And that man is you, Daddy. I have always tapped from your strength in difficult times. Please, speak to me. You cannot be the next king in waiting. Would you say this to me? It's very difficult for me to say. Is this because I am not married, Dad? Oh, well, not just that, but it has never happened in the history of this kingdom that a disabled person is made King in wedding. Well, if that is the truth, then why did the chief priest hand over the ancient port of Ogugu to me and said that you would tell me what next to do? Well, it is for you to hand it over to your younger brother willingly. But on the grounds that you refuse, well, the kingship will leave this family to another family. That's my fear. Father. Why is everything falling apart? And I can't take it anymore. So who did I offend? Oi, where did I go wrong? Obonyeka mojinke ya, ya guano mo, kamano. My prince, sorry to disturb you. It's time for you to go to bed. Says who? You've been seated here for hours, my prince. And it's past midnight. You're, you're still here all alone. Please, permit me to take you to your room to sleep. Of what use is sleep to the eyes that cannot close? Sleep has eluded me. My prince, when the mind is filled up with so many thoughts, it seems sleep is far away from your eyes. Think less, my prince, and sleep will find its way to your eyes. They have taken that which belongs to me from me. They say they can no longer crown me the king in waiting. Because I am crippled. You are not serious right now, my prince. Are you? Do I look like I am joking to you? I know that I have been out here. I've had a little to drink. A little tipsy maybe, but... Definitely not stupid and drunk. I'm sorry, my prince. 
I'm really sorry if I made you feel that way. But I just want you to know that what Shogi Kabiyama does not approve can never happen. Please let me take you to your room. The gods of our land. Chukwo Kikabiyama, the creator of the entire universe. Ogugu, the god of our forefathers. Ajani, the mother earth. And all the spirits around. I have come with a broken heart. Hear you the cry of a broken mother. They have decided to take away that which belongs to my son. I call upon you all to fight for us. For we are so powerless. Please fight for us. Do not allow evil to triumph over this land of peace, justice, and truth. Um, Your Majesty, could, could you please be more explicit? I, I don't think I understand what you're trying to say. I want us to crown my son, Prince Desmond. In king in the wedding. Your Majesty, are you the one saying this? You and I know too well that this is not going to be possible. Prince Desmond is physically incapacitated. Our tradition and custom forbids uh, such personage to mount the throne of our forefathers. Oh no, you talk as if I don't know the tradition. Have you forgotten? I am the king. I am the custodian of culture and tradition of this kingdom. This tradition you talk about was made by men. We, we can change it and nothing will happen. Your Majesty. I'm short of words. I mean, how, how do you even think that this will be possible to achieve? Oh no, it takes two to tango. Oh, with your active collaboration with me, oh, it's achievable. And besides, Prince Desmond is my first son. He, and does not deserve to be treated badly. Mm. I want him to sit on the throne of our forefathers after my reign. Mm. Uh, Your Majesty, I'm sorry to disappoint you on this one. I will not be part of this evil plot. Girls, the way things are going on in this palace, one day Prince Desmond might end up running mad. I'm telling you, Mkoli, why would you say such a thing? I'm sure if the king should hear of it, he will ask the guard to chop off your heads. You have to be careful. Is it not obvious that you did not understand who I meant by that? Besides, who is going to tell the king what I said? Is it you? No. And I'm at you know I can't do such a thing. Sorry. But you have to be careful of your choice of words. The wall have ears. Yes. Would you are very correct. But at the same time, I think Kali has a point. <laughs> what do you mean by she's right? Because Prince Desmond is a shadow of himself right now. He thinks too much and I just 
I just pray he gets out of the situation with his sanity intact. You girls are really getting me scared, honestly. I would really feel bad if anything should happen to Prince Desmond. I don't know why he has to face this fate at this point of his life right now. Listen, girls, I strongly believe that Prince Uchenna and his mother are responsible for what Prince Desmond is going through right now. Of course. Of course. It's obvious that the both of them are responsible for the prince's order. I just wish there's something I can do right now to help him. Oh, no. Are you sure the, the king said this to you? I don't understand. Are you insinuating that I, I cooked up this story myself? What is this strange? Why would the king call you for such a meeting in the first place? Yeah. Does he not know what our tradition says about Prince Desmond's current condition? No, tell me. Honestly, I yeah. am not happy with the king at all. Hi. The way he is handling issues lately is so annoying. If he doesn't take his time, we will call for his removal. The king is ready to destroy our tradition just because he, he wants Prince Desmond to be crowned the next king in waiting desperately. He wants it desperately. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Why can't he allow Prince Uchenna, who is in a better position, to take the crown to do so? Yes! Instead of trying to destroy a tradition that has been in existence long before he was born. Oh no! Before I left the palace, ha! I reminded him that all he needed to do was convince Prince Desmond to give his consent for his younger brother, Prince. Which mm -hmm. to be given the crown. Yes. He refused. Ah. The king refused. So he did. Why? Why? Uh, the reason is simple. Desmond is your older brother. He's the first son of this family. Therefore, the throne belongs to him. Father, but circumstance has made it impossible for him to emerge as a king in the waiting. Says who? Father, I have it on a good authority that no disabled person can ever be crowned the king of this great kingdom. And who told you that? Father, the question is not supposed to be who told me. The question begging for an answer is, Father, why are you fighting so hard to thwart the tradition of our people just to favor Desmond? Is there something you are not telling me? Oh, listen, Uchen, listen. I want to ask you a question. And I want you to answer me with utmost sincerity. Are you and your mother responsible for Desmond's incapacitation. Father, answer my question. Are you? My prince, I came here severally to see you, but Omenka wouldn't let me into the premises. And then to make matters worse, you were not even picking my calls. What did I do? I was not um, in the right frame of mind to speak to anyone at the time. Even me? Why did you hate me? Listen, Star. I have a lot going on in my life right now. My life presently is a mess. There's certain kinds of conversation that I do not want to have. Oh, really? Vera, 
What are you doing here? I thought I warned you not to step your foot into this place. Did I not tell you to stay away from my prince? What are you doing here? What is this supposed to mean, Stella? That's my guest. What gives you the right to decide who comes here and who does not? My prince, please don't do this. Don't do this to me. Why are you embarrassing me? You're Why? You're embarrassing yourself. Stop it. <sighs> Vera. Greetings, my prince. Uh, well, I actually came to check on you to know how you're faring. But I didn't know I was going to meet this mad dog here. Did you just call me a mad dog? Vera, you're referring to me as a mad dog. Stella, you were a mad dog. <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten what you did to me the last time because it is still fresh in my memory. And I'm going to serve you back in your own coin. I see you have grown wings. I see you have refused to learn. Don't worry. <laughs> you see what I did to you the last time will be nothing compared to what is going to fall upon you oh, if you fail to... Oh, bring it on! Bring it on! Right. Oh, really? That's enough. Really? Enough. <laughs> this girl is daring me. This girl Stella, is stepping. I am speaking. <sighs> Wait. Both of you cannot go crazy in front of me. How did it. you two gain access into this palace? Because I can't remember opening the gate for any of you. Huh? Oh, I get it. The picture is more clear now. It's very clear. So you ladies took advantage of the fact that I was not at my duty post. Courtesy of a very serious running stomach that took me off my post. You seized the opportunity to invade this royal palace to cause breakdown of law and order. Oh, now listen to me. Both of you should leave this place right now before I lose it. Oh, shut up. Don't you dare come close to me. What did you just say? Leave here right now before I apply force. Don't you dare come close to me. I've told you. My prince. Ladies. My prince. I'm sorry. But we'll have to reschedule. Okay, so please. Take your leave. What? But, but my prince, I... Are you people deaf? Leave! Did you not hear what he said? Leave. My prince, it's me. You want me to come? <laughs> this way, this way, this way. This way. <laughs> Nonsense! How dare you? Omenka. My prince. Stand here. You are assigned to that duty post for a reason. But today, you failed in your duties. And that is why those two ladies walked in here unceremoniously, without notice. Omenka, I am aware that your job is very important to you. Very important, my prince. Very important. The next time this happens, I'm also aware that you know the consequences. I promise you it will never happen again. It will never happen for any reason. I am not sorry. The life of a man is full of worries, they say. But I don't believe that. Because oftentimes, what men worry about is what they're not supposed to think about. Who are you? And what do you want from me? Are you just concerned about who I am and what I want from you? Or are you going to think deep into what I've just said. You almost spoke from both sides of your mouth. 
Therefore, I am confused. I do not understand you. Nothing. Nothing under the sun is hidden. Every activity of mortals is known by the spirits. What exactly are you driving at? Open your eyes, I will see that which you seek staring at you. What do you think I seek? Wake up. Wake up from your slumber. And hold the bull by the horn. With which hand will I take the bull by the horn? Though the hands look weak, but the time to use them is now. Open your eyes. Look around you and change your life. Amanda! Sir. My face. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, my praise. I, I slept off. You have not answered my question. What are you doing in my room? My praise, you had too much to drink when I brought you to your room. You ordered me to sing and sing for you until you sleep. I. I think I slept off in the process. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can go. Thank you, sir. Good night. What kind of dream is this? Who is this man? Here, my prince, I am ready, very, very ready to marry your daughter. In a nutshell, I am ready to commence the marital right today. Uh, my prince, you know it's not possible. It's just not possible. You see, we have, uh, we have tradition to follow. <laughs> we must follow the tradition. That's the truth. Besides, your father, the king, has not spoken to me about it. Because he should have spoken to me about it before now. That is the problem, Michi. That is the problem. The only problem I have here is my father. Uh, how do you mean? Michi, my father is doing everything humanly possible to make sure that Prince Desmond becomes the next king in waiting where he knows very well that no disabled person can be crowned the king of this great kingdom. My father hates me so much. And I, 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 I don't know why he hates me that much. Now, honestly, uh, Prince Uchen, uh, I, I know how you feel. I know exactly how you feel. And um, believe me, I think uh, there is more to this than me. Uh, is that the truth? Right. Yes. Ichi, I, I need your assistance. I need your assistance on this situation. Okay. Okay. Thank I you. promise you I will do everything within my power to make sure that your marriage to my daughter holds before the next Oruku festival. Yes. So you can be crowned the next. He become well. Just two days 
before the oath swearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Mm. So you're just waking up from your slumber, okay? Mm. My darling, mm. you see, at first, I never ever believed that they will have a hand in what happened to Prince Desmond. But after what happened today, mm. after everything that happened today, I am well convinced that they had a hand in what happened to Prince Desmond. Mm. Yes, now. <laughs> All of a sudden. Mm. It not shock you. Hey, Nim. Mom, how did it happen? Honestly, I don't know. I walked into the sitting room. I saw everybody jubilating, raising their hands, dancing up sort of that steps, shouting that he can walk again with his legs. I got up, Mom. This is strange. Is very, very strange. Who knows where they went to for him to be able to walk again? Mom, this is not ordinary. Exactly. It is not ordinary. How can you tell me that a crippled woke up one morning without any medical assistance, just rose up and started walking from nowhere without any help at all? There's something wrong somewhere, and I will find out. Something is wrong somewhere. Ah. Something is wrong somewhere. But the big question here is, what do we do? Because they will not beat us in this. No, place. no, 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 no. They can't. They can't beat me in this one. Mm -hmm. I will make sure that you are the king mm -hmm. in waiting. Even if that will take the last drop of blood in me, I will achieve it. Mumwa, oh Franka, I will achieve it. I know what you can do. Trust me on this. I know what you can do, Mom. What kind of stupid miracle is that? I will find out the prophet that did this. I hate people who do not keep to instruction. I hate them with passion. What are you doing here? I don't understand. Are you, by this very statement of yours, confirming to me, one, that you are not only stupid, but you are senseless at the same time? I mean, eh? I mean, are you insulting me? Listen, the prince passed a very serious instruction. In fact, it was a royal decree. He said he does not want to see you or that other useless Stella anywhere close to the palace. What are you doing here? What have you come to do again? Omenka, you can insult me anyhow you like. I do not care. Oh, please, allow me to go in and go and see the prince. It's important. Me, Omenka, should open this gate and allow you to go in and see the prince. For what? As who? Listen to me. Get out of this place. Because I will not open this gate for you. Omenka, please. Get out of this place. Enter this carton of yours and get out of this place right now. Excuse me. What in God's name is going on here? And what is this low life doing here? Listen to me, Stella. I put it to you that both of you are in the same low life class. In fact, your life is even lower than hers. Why would a daughter of the Ono Wu of this great kingdom be disgracing herself like this? What is wrong with you, Stella? What are you doing here? Will you shut up and keep quiet, you common, ordinary palace guard? What do you think you are to talk to me in that manner and tone? Are you mad? No, no, have you gone bonkers or something? Listen and listen very good. If you dare talk to me like that in that tone, I am going to slap the living daylight out of you. What is wrong with you? Look at you. You, Stella, you will slap me, Omen Kahonanya. I, I will slap you and nothing will come out of you, you madman. You will slap Omen Kahonanya, the chief security officer of this royal family. Listen, at this point, both of you have overstayed your welcome. Get out of this place. You know what? I have finally concluded that you're nothing but a madman. Yes, a madman oh as a palace God, guard. Please, please, do not mind this mad dog of you a person. You are the mad dog. Please, just allow me to go and see Listen, Omen Honanya one is not known for beating women. But if you people do not leave this place this very minute, I will not be held responsible for whatever that will happen to you people. I shall be back. Get out, idiot. I are you, are, are you still talking? Nonsense! Look at them! Desperate chickens! They are like... You want to come and stand here and spend words with me? Rubbish! Foolish people! 
No, you would have come back to stay. Come and stay. You want to marry your prince. Foolish people. First, I want to thank you for allowing Amanda to dine with the royal family. Son, you need not thank me. Amanda is a good girl, and um, besides, why would I deny her the opportunity of dining with me and my household? She's a good girl. Out. You've been good, young lady. Thank you, Greg. Amanda. Yes, my friends. I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a good person. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for going over and beyond in taking care of me. Thank you, my friend. I'll never forget. And so on a special day like this, I want to ask you, Marry me. Wait, 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 sir. Did I hear you well? Or oh, are my ears deceiving me? Your ears are not deceiving you, mommy. She is the one. My, my prince, are you sure about what you just said? Strike me dead if I ever lied to you. Marry me, <laughs> and you never regret it. No, girl. Amanda. Eh? What's that? Come on, help me. Amanda. Amanda. What is it? Get the guards, please. Amanda. 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 So despite all my warnings, you still had the mind to carry your stupid, dirty-looking self to the same palace I ask you never to step into, right? And who the hell are you? Who the <laughs> hell are you to ask me not to go to the palace? See, let me tell you something. Please, get off my way this very minute before I lose my mind. Uh, Vera, you know, I can see that your life means nothing to you. Your life is worthless to you. But... Why you have decided to waste your worthless life in my hands is still very unclear. <laughs> yes! Stella. Stella, you can't do anything. You actually succeeded <laughs> the last time because you caught me unaware. But I have news for you. I've actually got good news for you. You can't do anything right now. Because I am well prepared. Mm -hmm. Very prepared for you. So do your worst. Vera. <laughs> Vera, you're playing with your life. I yes, you. <laughs> you are playing with your life. Uh. So I'm going to ask you for the last time to stay away from Prince Desmond. Stay away. Mm -hmm. Stay away from him. Ow! Ask what? Ask what? I am not going to stay away from him, okay? I will not do that. So do your very worst. <laughs> well, nice. I can say you have developed some balls. I am not going to repeat myself. Vera, I'm going to speak in little language so that your tiny little brains will assimilate what I'm telling you. If you do not stay away from this month, mm -hmm. I am going to crush you. I will crush every single bone you have inside of you. 
do not play with fire. <laughs> I am not just making a threat here. It is a statement. Vera, I will not fail to pluck out anybody that stands in my way of becoming the prince's wife. <laughs> do not say I didn't warn you. Hmm? You stay away. Do you know what you are? Do you know exactly what you are? You are an empty vessel, making empty threats. Okay? So just do your worst. We shall see. Oh, we ain't seen. We shall see. Get out! <laughs> Get out of my way! We shall see. Rubbish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get away from me. see your prince. Rubbish. Mom, that was how it happened. And at this point, Mom, I don't care to know if she dies or not. It's none of my business. <laughs> they cannot win us in this. If this is a game, if they want this game, we will all play it together. Mm. They will know that they have met the master of this very game. Desmond cannot win us in this game. Of course. I will not be alive to see Desmond sit on that throne while my son is still alive. Mm. That throne cannot pass us by. Trust me on this. Yes, sir. Can never pass us by. Mom, and what do we do now? Uchenna, I'll do whatever it takes for you to sit on that throne. I will achieve it. I am Franca. I will make sure I get this throne. Trust your mother. Ah, oh, mom, I trust you. You are my son. I trust you on this. <sighs> what kind of temptation is this? What is even happening in this palace? My dear, the whole thing is so, so confusing to me. The more I try to figure out what's going on in this palace, the more confused I become. I really feel for Prince Desmond. Prince Desmond? Yes. We should be talking about Amanda right now, not Prince Desmond. Who knows if she will come back to this palace alive? See, definitely she will. I have this feeling that she's going to come back to this palace better than she was before she was taken to the hospital. Oh, B. What if she doesn't make it alive? Huh? Yes. Or what if she comes back to this palace and becomes worse than she was? What are we going to do? Golly. Are you wishing her ill or what? Hey, babes. You know I can't wish her ill luck. It's not possible. I only ask a simple question because of the happenings in this palace. Hey? And because it has something to do with Prince Desmond, you know it doesn't end well. It doesn't. <coughs> wait, wait, sit down. Sit down. There's no need running. I heard everything you people said. And I am really worried. I am seriously worried. You, you, you do? You are? Of course I do. Listen, I am not here in my capacity as Omenka, the chief security officer of this royal palace. No, I am rather here in my capacity as Omenka, the normal young man that loves the prince. Honestly speaking, I am worried about Prince Desmond. <coughs> <coughs> Omenka, so you too can be worried and bothered about something. I Would thought you, you don't care. Eh? Who do I care? I do. Listen, I am a normal human being like you. Eh? Anyways, I came to find out if you people have heard any news concerning uh, Amanda's health condition. Uh, um, hmm? we, we have not heard anything about it. Uh, what is going on? What is really going on in this palace? Huh? Huh? It 
has finally happened. How time flies. I cannot fight this whole battle and lose out completely at last. What will I do now? Where do I start from? I cannot change the tradition of our people. I will be so disappointed with myself if I end up not achieving that which is very important to me. Chupo Kike, please help me. The mouthpiece of a woman. To what do I owe this visit? Oh no, Wu. The nasty command to the king of the land. I have come in peace. You have nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. You're very much welcome to my house, the mouthpiece of a Google. Speak, I am listening. The king had received the message of the prince's official preparation to perform the ritual rites that will lead to his coronation as the next king in waiting. The mouthpiece of a Google. We all know that Prince Desmond is here to meet the requirements. I am nothing but a messenger. I have done what I am expected to do. I have to take my leave. Nature. Uh, uh, today is my happy day. Indeed, if you ask me, I would tell you that today is the happiest day of my life. Uh, what I have been longing for has finally happened. Oh, oh yes. And uh, let me officially announce to you that my beloved son, the heir apparent to the throne has finally found a maiden of this land to take as a wife. Hey, hey, good news. I am happy, and I must say that everyone here is happy. Yes. <laughs> so, um, if I may ask Igwe, who is this uh, lucky maiden? Oh, well, let me let the cat out of the box. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, her name is Amanda Chikezie. She is the daughter of Mazi Chikezie, the late Panwain Tapa. Your Majesty, is it not the same Amanda that works in the palace as a maiden? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh -huh. You are not far from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. Huh? This is the best news I've heard in recent times. Yeah. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, <dear God. laughs> has remembered the chickens ah, family. Exactly. Well, well um, <laughs> preparations for the wedding. Commence as soon as possible, and then, um, oh no, uh, you see to that. Son, mom, I don't want you to involve him in anything that has to do with your wedding. Why, mother? He's my brother. He's my blood. How can you call a character like Uchena your blood? <laughs> He's not your brother and can never be. Mom, we shall not continue to live with the pain inflicted on us by other people for the rest of our lives. I need you to forgive them. Just as I have forgiven them. I don't want us to continue to live like enemies as a family. Madaroma. And remember, that father would not be happy if I sideline Uchen. That boy and his mother are evil. I don't want to have anything to do with them in this life. Not after what they have done to you. We don't even have proof, mother. We don't have substantial proof, mother. You told me when I was growing up that I must learn to forgive my offenders. Uh, let go and let God. And I'm telling you to avoid them in this wedding Hi. or anything that has to do with your life. I maintain my word. Who? Oh. God, that one. That one. That one. Take it easy. Huh? Please. Mommy, more. Huh? <laughs> Forgive. So you're trying to tell me that after everything you have decided to settle down with that low life, a girl without class, a nobody, a daughter of an ordinary palm wine tapper. And clearly you have a problem with that. Of course I have a problem with that. You seriously think I was going to let that happen? You're not even going to do anything stupid. But if you do, you know that you're going to regret it. My prince. Yes. Please, I beg of you. I love you. I love you and you know it. Please do not do this to me. I beg of you. I love you with everything that makes me a woman. Please. But I don't love you. I don't have feelings for you. How do you expect me to marry a woman that I don't love? My prince, please, please save me this shame and embarrassment. What am I going to say to people? All my friends and everyone around me are waiting for the day you are going to take me as your bride. Please, take out this embarrassment and shame you are about to bring upon me. I beg you with everything you respect, And please. I beg you to try to make sense of what you ask. For I have never been in a relationship with you. Neither have I ever promised you marriage. I have constantly made it clear that you and I are just friends with no emotions attached. Is that not so? My prince, you cannot do this to me. You cannot do this to me. As a matter of fact, you cannot marry that girl. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Desperation, that's all that I see. <laughs> One of the many things that I do not like about you. Desperation. You're desperate. And I cannot marry. A desperate woman. You can't. You can't marry her. <laughs> I am not going to let you marry that girl. And if I do not marry you, nobody will. 
Be mindful of the words that you speak, Stella. For it might dig your grave. All right, fine. Fine, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. But please, I love you. I, 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 I love you. Please don't do this to me, I beg of you. Please, think about it. Let's make this work. You can make it work. Please. Mom. Yes. He asked me to be his best man on his wet wedding day. Hmm. Can you imagine that? That boy has a gut. So I want to ridicule you oh. by asking you to be his best man after his traditional marriage? See. Mom. Yes. Who can just fold their hands and watch him become the next king in waiting? We have to do something to stop him. I know that we have to do something to stop him. But the question here is, what do we do? Let's kill him. No. You can't do that. All fingers will point at us. No. So, That's not right. what are we going to do? Oh, I am Franca. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. Uh, I will find a way to go around it. Don't worry. I, I, I trust you. You are my son. Trust me. <laughs>
Why? Amanda, how could you do this to me? How could you possibly do this to me after all that we went through together? If I had known that going to work in that palace would result in your getting married to the prince, I would have talked you out of it. I don't need your money. All I want is you. How do you expect me to survive this, this, this heartbreak? I showed you so many love signs. So many love signs, Amanda. Yet, you couldn't see any of them. I don't think I can survive seeing you in the arms of another man. I don't think I can survive it. Something needs to be done as soon as possible. Yes, something needs to be done. Your Majesty, see, this is Chia Amade. I don't like the way he behaves. Well, well, I have warned him severally. He need to be obedient and useful in this palace for him to retain his position. Yes? Well, be first to take a decision. Greetings to the king and queen of this great kingdom. Greetings, my beautiful daughter-in-law. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you, my queen. How are you, my daughter? Your Majesty, I am fine. Uh, how is your husband? Uh, where is he now? He's upstairs in the room resting. Uh, what you are supposed to be resting with him in the room? Your Majesty, I am going home to tidy a few things. I'll be back soon. Uh, is he aware of this? He's very much aware, my queen. Okay, please, don't stay too long. Oh, take good care of yourself, my daughter. It's okay, your majesty. Queen mother. Okay, take care. I will. I'll send you back. Very lovely day we have here. Honestly, so lovely. Number is still saying switched off. I don't know. What kind of temptation is this? Where, 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 where will she be at this, at this time of the night, mom? Uh, have you tried I, I, I reaching the mom? Yes, I, 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 I spoke to the mom who told me that she already left and, and that she was on her way here. I just pray nothing has happened to her. Uh, because Amanda is not the kind of girl that gets late at night. Let us stay positive. You see, I believe she will soon come back safely. Yes, hello? Who's this? Yes, speaking. What? what? Hold on, mom. How is Amanda? Where is she? Just, just put her on the phone, okay? What are you talking about? I said put her on the phone. Okay, 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 okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just worried. Can, can he, Is she okay? Is she fine? Hello? Please, can, can I, where can I meet you? Hello? Uh, who was that? Oh, what, oh, oh, oh. My mother has been kidnapped. Eh? What? Oh, oh, oh. the, the kidnapper has just called me now. Uh, so, so, what do they want? They say they don't want anything. Hey! 
my king. Let me try. Let me try and call back and see if they'll take my call. Hey. Hey. Somebody switched up. Hey. Calm down, son. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Kidnappers. Kidnappers. Franca. So this is all you and your evil son can do. Eh? So this is it. This is all you could do. How dare you, Dorothy, call my son and I names? I am not here to banter west with you. I'm only here to tell you that the evil you plotted in the secret is now in the open. I am very much aware that you kidnapped my daughter-in-law. How can you accuse us of such a dangerous crime? Do you know the implication of such an accusation? You shut up, you useless thing. Uh -oh. Shut your dirty mouth. I allowed you people to get away with what you did to my son the last time. But this time around, you must pay dearly for your evil act. Your Majesty, tell these evil things you have in your house to fetch my daughter-in-law. Else, they should be ready to dance to the tune of the music I will play for them. Oh, Franca, do you and your son have a hand in what she is complaining of? Chinedo, how dare you ask me such stupid question? Hey, mama? Uh, you may call it anything you want. But I advise you, better remove the hand of monkey boiling in that pot of soup before it turns into a human hand. When the music starts, uh, you have yourself to blame. Mm. Hey, dude. Uh, my prince, you're getting me confused. Listen, I'm not the kind of man that you think that I am. Release my wife, else you see the other side of me. Release your wife? I know nothing about your wife. I didn't do it. You seriously think that I kidnapped your wife? I mean, why would I want to do that? You made it clear that you would crush anyone who stands in your way. And if you do not get married to me. I agree I said that. But those are just mere words. I didn't mean it. I didn't. I just said those things. Stella, believe my wife to me as soon as possible or be ready to face the consequences. I... Hello? Goodness. How on earth does he even think that I kidnapped his wife? Like how? You really have a hand in the kidnap of Prince Desmond's wife. Father, even you? You threatened of crushing down anyone who will stand in the way to having Prince Desmond as your husband. So I'm asking you for the last time, do you have a hand in the kidnap of his wife? Father, how many times do I need to explain it to you? I didn't do it! For crying out loud, I only said those things because I was angry. I didn't mean it. That's not the kind of person I am. Father, I'm disappointed in you. How can you even think that your own daughter would do such a thing? Are you serious? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Stella, you have done a lot of things that I couldn't imagine you would do in the recent past. I didn't do it. I didn't. Do I even know you? How could you ask such a question, Mom? How? Why won't I ask you such a question? Do you think we are joking here? Do you think this is a joke? Mom, you're in a better position to explain what happened to Amanda. You and I know that you hate everything that has to do with Prince Desmond and his mother. You do not want them to smell that throne. Whatever I did, which is for your own good. So stop acting as if I am the devil here. We have to join force to win this race. 
So this game or whatever it is, we have to join force to achieve it. Desmond and his mother are not leaving any stone on Tom. Can't you see it? You seem to be scared, Mom. Is there something you're not telling me? Why me? Why always me? Why? Why me? Who have I offended? Why me? All the time. Why me? Think this is a mystery. Only the gods can unravel it. My king, you and I know that the gods have nothing to do in this matter. Franca and her son are responsible for this. And they must never go scot-free this time. Father, if they are responsible, if they are responsible, Father, they will suffer. I will make them suffer. They are going to call on death, but it would not come to them because I would delay their death and make them live in pain for a long time, Father. Oh, my son, you don't say that. That's to your family. I think what we should be concerned now is for the police to come up with a lead. Oh, the gods to unravel the mystery. You can go ahead and say whatever you like. But all I know is that Franca and her son will surely pay dearly. Whoever is behind this father would suffer. Whoever is behind this would suffer. <laughs> My name is Ayon. I am the person that kidnapped the, the, the first person the prince wanted to marry. Huh? Someone in this palace paid me heavily to kidnap and threaten her not to marry the prince. The person that paid me for that very job still paid me again to kidnap the wife of Prince Desmond. Eh? Pretender. Um, and who is that person that paid you to commit such crime? Uh -huh. The king here paid me the sum of 10 million naira to do the job for him. Yeah? Which king? Oh, hold on, are you trying to tell me that my father, the king, paid you money to, to kidnap my wife? He cannot deny it. I had him on video all the while. He met me for this job. Hey, do. Now, this is unbelievable. Father, so, you are the one behind this act. They thought my mother and I were responsible for all that has been happening. Father, oh, will you shut your mouth? Idiot. You didn't know I did all I did, all for you. How will you say you did it all because of me? Father, you never liked me. You didn't want me to succeed you. It, it was clear. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, why would I hate my only brother? Someone that made me about to break the promise I made to my older dying brother? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Brother, please allow me to take you back to the hospital. I believe you'll be fine. I was there for three good months and nothing positive happened. Chinedu. Brother, 
There's no point. No point of going back to the hospital. Brother, brother, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like somebody who has lost all hope? Use that money. You want to spend on my treatment. Take care of the widows. The orphans. And the needy. Brother, you are getting me scared. I don't understand you. You're getting me confused. I know. She did do. Brother. My wife, Dorothy, is two months pregnant. You're the only one that knows about it. Apart from my wife and I. Take her in as your wife. Huh. Take good care of her. And if the baby is born, still take good care of it. Oh, brother, I don't understand. Why are you saying all this? Why are you saying all this, brother? Please stop, please. 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 do. Brother. Please. 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 If my wife gives birth to a male child, please hand over the throne to him at the appropriate time. But if it happens to be a female child, please give her the best of training. And Hand her over to a man that will marry her and, and take good care of her. Please, I beg of you. <sighs> brother, brother, why do you want to die and live only me in this world? Why? Do this to me, please. She need you. She need you. Promise me you will do all I've asked you to do for me. I promise to do all you've asked of me. Please stop dying. Don't do this to me, please. died two days after I made that promise to him. So Desmond is not your biological son after all. Mm. Dorothy. Ah! My, 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 my greatest regret was going to Kite, huh? the native doctor in our neighboring kingdom, to prepare a sham that Got this month crippled. Ah! Oh. 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 
one I call father be the one to put me through this kind of physical, emotional and psychological pain. All because you wanted to make your son your biological son your only blood as you put it your heir to the throne. What did I ever do wrong to you father? I can't believe I still call you father. For you have always been my father. I was brought into your life as an innocent child for you to nurture. But all you have done is try as hard as you can to destroy me. Gia, do you have me for? What did my late husband do? Your only biological brother not do for you. Where did he go wrong that made you do all that to his only son? Eh? Be gone, no, no. Dora, sit down. Hey, sing it. Oh, be gone. My love, please. Love, love, you know, yeah. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. It's, it's, it's the work of the devil, please. It's the devil that pushed me, please. I had no reason to do what I did. Please, I regret my actions. Forgive me. Igwe, you have to follow the station for further clarification. Hi. Because, you don't know, please call my lawyer, Barristor Mudu. Tell him that the commissioner invited me because he didn't buy alone. Oh. Hey, do. You move. Line with our tradition. I, Tabu, Wanko, the Onowu of Umwe's uh, kingdom. By the power vested on me as the Onowu of this great kingdom, I hereby crown you, Prince Desmond Alaribe, the king in waiting of Umwe's uh, kingdom. Oya dere man ike Oya dere man ore Ise Oya dere man afo Ise Oya dere man afo Ise Nka afo Ofi ejibido lu Nna nna yin haje kwaje ofo Yeah. 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 Yeah.